Hello everyone, this is Direwolf20, and welcome to episode 14 of Direwolf20's Modern Skyblock 3. Today, I have the goals of opening, uh, Portal to Elfheim. But until we get mana in these mana pools, that's not really gonna happen. Wah, wah, wah. Uh, so I want to do a couple other things while I'm waiting for the mana. So I've been kind of dropping this on here real quick, by the way. Um, remember I did get some Black Lotus. I think they just basically produce a bunch of mana all in one go, but it's not that much. It's kind of a not exciting amount. So a little bit wah, but oh well. Oh, and please. Enderman everywhere, even in the lit up areas. You're killing me. Ooh, that was a close one, huh? That was a really close one. Um, what I definitely like to do today, though, is maybe get some moss, mending moss, to repair my auto smelter tool. Um, which, you know, has been a great tool thus far. Uh, but we're going to need to do a little bit better, actually. So let's do you and put these guys in here to get some mossy bricks and get this. Cool. And that should have updated something. I'm pretty sure I have a quest to do this. Basic tinkering has ball of moss complete, mending moss incomplete. Uh, so what we need to do to get mending moss is to get a bookshelf. Uh, so for that, we're going to need uh, nine of you. Three of you and six. Of these guys should be good. And that should be a sufficient amount of books. Cool. Yeah, I think that'll do. Me or did that not give me as much as I thought it would? Maybe I just wasn't paying attention right. Cool. All right. Uh, so you, with that, hooray! Quest complete, many moths. Oh, and it didn't even use up. Neat. I assumed it would take that. Otherwise, I would have put that in a better location. Um, that's spiffy. So I should be able to stick you on here. Cool. Mending moss. Nice. That's pretty cool. Uh, and I even feel like if I put, like, fortune on this, like, aka with lapis, I would get extra charcoal when I chop down those trees. But I'm not sure if that's necessary. Now, I'm wondering if, uh, I'm trying to remember if mending moss just repairs automatically over time. So what's your durability looking like? Um, 212, uh, durability 115. Um... Sweet. I forget if you need to get experience or not to repair. Cool. So maybe we'll come back in a sec. 118. So yeah, it should repair itself over time. Basically, I'm getting a little... Not, not, not terribly so, but a little low in charcoal. I've been using a lot of it to produce mana. Um... You know, I, I could be doing other approaches to making mana, but that's fine. It's automated at this point, so it's been kind of like, let it sit, and it does its thing. So let's come back in a minute. I want to let this thing repair itself just a bit, and uh, yeah, we'll be right back. By the way, other things uh, that were done between episodes. Isn't that cyan? Or is that cyan? There we go. Uh, I expanded my mob farm in the nether uh, to just be a larger area, and that actually quite significantly helped uh, with the spawning of blazes. So maybe it was just too small or, you know, of a mob farm. But uh, if we pop in here, you'll just see that all I did was expand it a little bit. Hello, zombie pig man. See you later, alligator. Uh, so just made it a little bit larger. And this is absolutely enough space to spawn blazes. So I uh, chilled in there for a few minutes and got some more blaze rods so that I could do my conjuration catalyst today. And hopefully my goal for today's episode is to unlock the next uh, chapter past Batania. And maybe we'll look at doing automation too, since we're waiting for Batania to produce uh, its stuff. Speaking of producing its stuff, I should be able to throw some mana uh, at this thing with lava, and you're doing a great job, and you have plenty of charcoal in here producing mana for days, and that's 
like not a joke it probably will take days to get the mana that i need but it's all good uh so uh, i don't know if i need this fancy glowing thing uh let's look at quests and see what we can do shall we uh i think we're gonna need another column of miscellaneous junk and we can probably look at a rare loot bag, which has not a bad amount of stuff in it. I keep getting this Giga Pickle seed. For whatever reason, that's the one seed thing. Uh, you're mana in a bottle. I guess I drink you? That sounds like a bad idea. I don't think anybody would recommend that on any day of the week. And sure, you can hang out in there with those two things, and you can go in there. Cool. Relatively organized inventory. Not the most organized in the world, but it'll get the job done. Let's look at quests. So, uh, right now, my quests... Uh, you're complete, by the way. Hey, lapis and quartz lamps. I don't have a bunch of those, do I? No, I totally do. Um, mystical flowers. We are currently just waiting on mana, and that will allow me to complete Conjuration Catalyst. Uh, I need elven items first, but that's probably just getting each of the elven items, and that should be easy. Uh, it should not be a challenge at all. So once we have these two things done, it's going to unlock the next chapter. But we're just waiting for mana. And I'm going to hold off on doing any of the other quests in this chapter. Because um, mostly all of these things just give me loot boxes. And the loot boxes have been mildly disappointing in terms of the rewards. Uh, so there's no real push for me to go ahead and do that. Uh, with that said, we're going to jump into uh, basic farming and automation. What is the important thing to make? Oh, diamond spikes. You need me to make diamond spikes to complete this chapter. Diamond spikes would not be a bad thing to make, and I really only need one set of them. So how many total diamonds spikes do I need? I need a block, so that's 9, 12, and then 1, 2, 3, 6, uh, 18. So I need two blocks of diamond, basically. Uh, and how many do I have? I've got two. Wow, you are a pathetically small number of diamonds right now. Uh, now I can turn hardened coal blocks which require eight coal blocks and a piece of coal into diamonds. That's a whole lot of coal that I probably, unless there's some magical way of making coal that I haven't found yet, am not going to be doing. Uh, it's probably far easier uh, to get stone uh, than it is. Is there like a faster furnace yet, by the way? Because that would be super cool if there was. Because I need like lots of smooth stone if I'm going to be doing what I think I need to be doing. Like, I already made a bunch. Like, we have three diamonds here. So there we are. We're making progress. We're basically a third of the way there. It's not that bad, um, if you really look at it. We have a lot of Certus in here that we can clean off. A lot of other stuff. Appetite, Sapphires, and lots of other things. Um, so that's what we need to do to complete basic farming and automation. There's all kinds of other stuff in this chapter, by the way, of course. Oh, that reminds me. I was going to do... Um, oh, hello. How did you... What? Explain. What? There was netherrack there. Honest. This makes absolutely no sense. How did that happen? Flint and steel. I know I have one. That's weird. Netherrack doesn't, like, magically disappear at some point, does it? I don't think so. I bet an Enderman stole it. It's the only explanation I have. Enderman came by and stole it. But hey, frozen iron, that cool stuff. Awesome. So I'm going to put you in here. Let it go. Let it go. So we're going to want... Technically, I could probably get away with one. I don't think I need a mini fridge anymore. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to steal this existing mini fridge. Outgate it to a proper freezer. Uh, and then we'll freeze the stuff in there. Cool. So that's 1x speed. Basically, four times faster than the mini freezer, right? And you can see the progress bar going. And like I said, the progress bar moves slower based on how many items are in there. So if you put one in there, see how much faster it's going? And I think each one of these is its own individual line. So a smart thing to do is instead of putting um, like, you know, eight blocks here, I would spread them across the line and I would do something like this. See? And this takes twice as long as this does in theory. Not bad. Sweet. So that's cool. Uh, quest completed. So lots and lots of quests. Let's see what terrible things you have. Magentic, magenta runic dust. Cool. 
Decorative dust. I'm so excited. Uh, but if I got a piece of bone meal, I should be able to... Do that. Which should be basic farming automation. Snad is now complete. And I'm going to throw Snad in here. Cool. And I got a magnifying glass. I remember getting one of those before and saying, what is this? I don't know what it does. Um, nothing has changed with regards to that. I still don't know what it is or what it does. Cool. Uh, so that's a couple quests knocked out. Um, I'm guessing we'll want to do golden spikes. So here's the deal. If we want to get diamond spikes, we need to get golden spikes anyway. Um, technically, we should have enough gold for that. But maybe I should make a little bit more gold, right? Uh, so that comes from two glowstone and one wheat. I think we've got a lot of wheat over there, but I'm going to want more redstone. And we are probably in the position right now to make lots and lots of this stuff. Because check it out. My mob farm running like a champ. Look at this. We've got some amazing stuff going on over here. So uh, courtesy of amazing mob farm running, uh, we should be able to get a copious amount of redstone right now. Uh, so check this out, right? I'm going to turn... Um, if I split you into three, right, if I do that, that should get me a stack minus one of blaze powder, right? Come on, need a faster, I need a faster speed, one of these guys. There you go, cool. Um, and then to make redstone, it was two and two, is that right? And glowstone needs to be in the other guy, right? But let's get like half a stack and half a stack. That's not at all what I meant to do. Half a stack and half a stack, boom. And it looks like they fall out, but that's just a visual bug. They stay in there, don't worry. Nice. See, redstone for days. That's what I'm talking about. Letting this guy heat up to full again is probably the best approach. I don't think there's really any waste at all. It basically just uses whatever heat it needs to use. Cool. So that got me a stack of redstone, which is nice. Now, glowstone was redstone and blaze. Is that it? Yes. Four redstone to two blaze. Right? So let's come over to here. You're not... Do I want to upgrade you to the iron casing so that I can use this stuff? I'm thinking the answer is totally. Absolutely, without a doubt. And I'm pretty sure I can do that with the one that I've got there. So let's get our hammer doohickey um, and iron. So if I want iron, uh, the iron combustion, is that what it's called? Yeah. Iron combustion heater, that's seven and eight. So we need 15. See, right clicking, it doesn't do anything. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Cool. And then uh, one of you with this around it. And then you can make iron combustion heater, which should be uh, a little bit more efficient. So let's this and that. And then we're going to want the quick dropper which needs four glowstone, uh, which I might have some glowstone handy. I don't. So let's get some. The old manual method. So that's one, two, three, four, one, two. And then you can have, um, I'm just gonna borrow some of you charcoal. And it's like 1700, right? So you can see the heat units per tick that we're producing here. That's kind of cool. But this will make this thing a little bit more efficient, right? All right, you are just, your existence bothers me, Enderman. Can you not just chill there and be an Enderman? Wow, look at all this junk you just gave me. Most of it being junk that I probably don't need, but some of it's not terrible. 
Most of it's terrible. I'll put you in there. Cool. All right. So the quick dropper needed this, needed that, needed this. And then collector just needs this and that. And then you can be trash. Quick dropper. Collector. Nice. So now if I want more glowstone, uh, it's like that. And then you, boom, and we got glowstone. Nice. Beautiful. All right. Uh, I was making that for a reason. What was it again? It's funny. Like, you like you have to get through all these processes, and you're like, why was I even making this? Uh, golden spikes. Right. Which I need glowstone and wheat. Um, so we're going to want, like... Uh, I'm not going to do that many. How about we do 10 and 5? Was it 2 to 1? It's the other direction. Two glowstone to one wheat. That should be a healthy amount of gold, though. A little bit more. Don't forget to make more tertius if you run low on this stuff, by the way. Because then you'll be back down to the doubled method, and that would stink. So make a bunch of this. Uh, you should have a healthy amount of glass up here. I might want to bump this up to like a normal hopper while I'm thinking about it. I don't need you, but I want to put you in here with these guys. Cool. And you can probably go in there too. And you go back to there. Wow, we have a lot gunpowder and that's a lot of gunpowder i barely used like i think i grabbed three stacks of gunpowder when i came out here right that's what i grabbed so i mean i've got a lot of gunpowder and blaze dust left so that mob farm is really supplying me with a huge amount of stuff uh let's throw some glass in here real quick just to get a bunch of this stuff and let's get a proper hopper so that i can do this and that should be pretty cool. Um, might not mind doing that and getting this guy back out again. I'm getting the hang of this, uh, whatever mod this is, that adds the uh, crafting table buttons. And I kind of like them. So you just do this and shift click and boom. That's actually like a nice way. Look how many of these stinking endermen there are. You're killing me, dude. Whoever made that mod, I know who made it. He messaged me and he's like, I heard you have some nasty words for me. I know I told that story already, but yeah. Um, I still have nasty words for you, buddy. Me and you are gonna have a talk about making endermen that spawn during the light conditions. Not a fan, as it were. Let's chop down trees a little bit because I need more charcoal. Look at you stealing my stuff. Look at them all. There's like literally a ton of them. And I never had this problem before. Like, all of a sudden, they decided to be big-time jerks. Okay, so you guys should be cool doing your thing. Let me get a little bit more glass here. Hopefully, with the mending upgrade on this, I won't have to repair this thing. Because that firewood, while not difficult by any stretch of the imagination to make, um, you know, it, it was effort. So maybe not having any more effort would be a nice thing. Just saying. Cool. So stacks of uh, you going on, which is cool. So you still have plenty of crystal shards, honestly. So this is going to make the gold that I need for golden spikes, right? And then once I've got that going on, what I can do is make diamond spikes uh, with all the smooth stone that I'm cooking up. I'm going to go put the sword into you, Mr. Bob Benjamin. How's everything over here doing? Really? Did you really uh, use all that stuff already? It's cool, don't mind me. I'm um, just curious that you've already... I mean, it's still running. 
Uh, no, you still have lots of charcoal left. I think it just wasn't rendering, or I just missed it. Uh, I'm gonna put you guys away. Just trying to keep my inventory organized, relatively. Cool. All right, so diamond spikes, or uh, golden spikes. Let's do that real quick. So we should maybe, as long as we have like 18 gold, I'm gonna grab three more from over here. Cause I know I had enough gold. I just wanted to make more. Um, so we definitely want a block of gold. Um, we're gonna want three golden swords. Um, and then golden spikes drop experience. Boom. Uh, do diamond ones drop experience? I assume they do. And since um, my quest objective is to make them anyway, uh, we're gonna do that. See, this would be a perfect time to say like, here's a block of gold. Like that would have been a nice reward for that quest to kind of give you back a little bit of the gold. Uh, improve some rudimentary materials. So I'm just gonna like, cause I, I don't think I have access to do anything in Silent Gems yet. Um, and so therefore I don't entirely know what that mod's all about. I mean, it's, it's like Tinkers, but with gems. That's kind of all I know about it. I played with it a little bit when I played Modern Skyblock 2 on stream. Always a good thing to have. So let's take a look at how are you guys doing with cooking? You're doing great. I'm gonna let you cook up more glass. You guys, smooth stone. Let's get as many blocks of this as we can. So click, beam. How cool is that, huh? And then here's my process for doing this. You ready? I'll do this. I'm gonna put my golden spikes just in here for the time being. Uh, and I could probably put away you guys. That should be good. And everything else is good. So in here, I will grab you and you. Cool. Uh, and you should be here and you can go away. Because this is the part where we get lots of stuff, right? But I didn't actually mean to grab this one. I meant to grab the one that was already damaged. Not that it matters, but cool. So as you're doing this a lot, you can just build up and then vein mine. Sweet. And then you can see that I turned this into a double chest because obvious reasons. AKA the large amount of resources we need for this. Uh, and then I'll put these guys in here. I don't, I kind of remember what you guys do. I think you can like be, like I can run them through the cauldron and have like a really low percent chance to get uh, dusts of all the different metals. But that just sounds like a huge hassle without automation. And I don't know if there's an automation method for that yet, uh, that I have access to for that matter. Um, so did I really just break like so much stone and not get a single diamond out of it? Or am I completely out of my mind? Okay, why are you guys all lit up with the word diamond? Because you're totally not diamonds, I promise. Yeah, I think, I think, I think that I did not get any diamonds for all of that. Wow, that stinks. Uh, I guess we'll be back in a minute while I come up with a plan on how to do something about what we're trying to figure out how to do. So be right back. Well, when in doubt, just make more furnaces. I guess that's a way to do it, right? I broke down and decided to repair my axe because I've been using it so much to keep up with the coal demands that we have going on right now. But I mean, it'll still repair itself. I bet if I threw like um, either another another repair dude on there, or if I threw reinforcement on, that would probably not be a bad idea. I made a reinforcement thing, didn't I? I think I even put it over here. Yeah, I did. And I'm sure I've got plenty of uh, upgrade options on this thing, right? Modifiers two, that's after getting, so yeah, I think we'll be fine. There you go. Now it'll last even longer. Coal for days. Good, you guys are done? Nice. All right, I need uh, more coal, please. Why do you smell coal into what? Probably smelts into something silly. You go there. You could probably be another stack. Cool. Okay. How are you guys coming along? Making progress. Beautiful. We should have lots and lots of smooth stone uh, to chop up in a few minutes here. So we'll be right back when that's ready. Well, actually, let's check out our mana reserves uh, for the time being. You could probably use a little bit more charcoal. Uh, how are you guys doing? Are you really gonna stand right there, Enderman? Please. 
Enderman, please. Uh, so I'm gonna get my man of mana here. I'm gonna let this soak up a whole bunch of mana. Like a whole bunch? I'm pretty sure we need like half a pool's worth, if I'm not mistaken, uh, to open the portal. And then once it's open, uh, it can stay open for as long as it wants and it only costs mana to exchange items. Again, if memory serves me correctly. So let's get this going and maybe I can complete this quest now. That would be cool. So that should be a full pool's worth of mana. The bands, just like the tablets, hold half a pool. Um, you don't have to evenly distribute this stuff anymore. You used to, but not anymore. So I'll just fill this entire mana pool, and hopefully that will be enough mana to open the portal uh, and maintain the openness of the portal, and we'll see what happens. Cool. And we're going to obviously want a little bit more mana so that my sash can keep working and other stuff. Ooh, I'm going to totally need some more armor because uh, that's a thing I don't have a lot of right now. See how slow I'm going? Oh, it feels so painful. Like, when you get the sash, you're like, oh, this isn't that much of a difference. And then, like, when you lose the sash for a second, you're like, oh, I'm so slow. See, this is what I've been doing a lot off camera that you guys haven't seen. There's lots and lots of coal production. So you may be done by now. Sweet. Um, let's just grab a, the rest of this mana in here. That should be fine. Let it all drain into my ring. Sweet. Not terrible. I'm going to give you just a little bit, like as much as you can get. Should scare me a little bit more breaking this right next to the edge, but eh. So technically, it should have no problem pulling all the, the mana out of here to open that portal. Did you even like a little bit? Try? Are you in the wrong spot, Natura Pylons? I don't think so. That actually should have worked. At least two Natura Pylons with mana pools directly below must be laid out. Yeah, Natura Pylons, right? I don't think you need to... You've got mana? You've got mana? What's up? I'll give you a little bit more. Natura pylons with mana pools directly below. Elven gateway core. Now we're talking? Yeah. Maybe you do need both to have mana in you. That would be kind of new to me, but uh, okay, cool. Sweet. Hey, we did it. We did the we did the thing. Nice. Uh, so we're going to want uh, at least a diamond and an ember roll. Let's see what the quests want me to do. Uh, but I obviously know what I need to do in order to do things. Let's switch back real quick to Mystical Flowers. Uh, elven items. So we need Elementium, Pixie, Dragonstone. And then you also want Elven Quartz and Elf Glass and a Dreamwood. So none of that's particularly hard. Uh, except, of course, the need to use a diamond right now. But, oh well, life goes on. Uh, you, 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 you. I shouldn't have a problem getting some of this. And while I'm here, I might as well get you and you, just so I get the items. Right, so uh, one more of these. This, this. Oh, haha! <laughs> That's right. Uh, drain some mana into there, please. Hopefully enough to get crafting done for me. Huge to do uh, is to get more mana. That should be good, right? Uh, and then this guy should have no problem. Hooray, pixie dust. Two of these for an elementium. Uh, one of these to get that, one of these to get that, and one of these to get that. Everybody groovy? I feel like I didn't get... Uh... Elven quartz, elven quartz, elven quartz. Ah, it's regular nether quartz goes in there. Not... Okay, that's weird. That's completely contrary to the way every other part of this mod works. Which is weird. It's weird, right? It's a little bit weird. Uh, nether quartz, I think, comes from breaking you guys with this thing. 
Dirty quartz. Bucket. And the rest of the stuff can be put away. I'll put two of you in here. Right? Everything else is turn it into the mana form and then drop it into the thing. Right? This one's just a little different. He just wants to be a little bit different. Hey, quest complete. Nice. So I'm going to put all this stuff away in here um, and complete that quest. Right, you're the wrong thing. These things are nice to have, all of them. All of them are nice things to have, by the way. Fancy Lantern. Cool. Goodbye, Fancy Lantern. Uh, I need now, if I'm not mistaken, to get a Conjuration Catalyst. I need an Alchemy Catalyst, three Elementium, and a Pixie Dust. So basically we want um, four more iron. To be turned into two Elementium. In addition to the existing Elementium and Pixie Dust. Um, and then we just need four of you. And we need the... So for that we're going to need four of you and an Ender Pearl. I'm just going to make a new one of these because that shouldn't be a problem. Because like I said, uh, I totally got more Blaze Rods from the Nether between episodes. So two Blaze Rods, I've got just enough and an Ender Pearl. I might as well get the four gold that I'm going to need here. Is it four gold or two gold? Two gold? Yeah. And we have Cobble on us, so that's good. I feel like I'm moving so slowly all of a sudden. Hopefully I have enough mana for this. Hooray! So that should not be a problem. Yes, good. And then you to you. And that is a completed quest. Y'all, we are in good shape. A water bucket. What a trolly troll. That is super troll. That is troll level over 5,000. Over 9,000 even. Holy cow, that is trolly. Do you guys see what that just did? That made a huge mess of my entire area. That is a huge troll. So water buckets are like a joke item in that like they can't actually hold water. Uh, so when you, when you pick up water with a bucket, it immediately places it down. Uh, so guess what that water bucket just did? It spilled water all over the base. Dude. That's kind of hilarious, but also kind of trolly. Uh, so luckily I didn't lose any items, because that would have made me really upset. Uh, but a little bit of redstone. And that's all fixed. Cool? Good. Um, let's clean up this, and let's take a look in our book. So check it out. Our quest book should now have, I thought, mystical flowers. You're done, right? Was there another thing that I'm missing here? I don't know what, uh, what's up with that. That should be actually done. I think it is, right? I'm not missing it. Oh, I'm missing this. Oh, I need to get the sin runes. Oh, I didn't think to look all the way down here. Oh, I have to get sin runes. All right, that's not the end of the world. It's a little bit of effort. Um, let's come back in a minute. All right, so let's do this. Let's wrap up the episode here. I'm going to continue, uh, obviously, making lots and lots and lots of good stuff. Uh, and then I'm going to crush it all. So I should have lots of smooth stone at this point. Sweet. Beautiful. All right. Uh, so I'm going to put maybe you in a drawer would be smart, or at least a chest for the time being. Lots and lots, and lots of smooth stone. Good. The way I've been doing this, by the way, is split it eight ways, and then that's enough to do a stack of cobble in each furnace. So basically, one stack of cobble, or one stack of wood, um, that I've been getting from my hopping bonsai tree, by the way, uh, turns into that. Um, and then we can do one, Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Cool. Nice. All right, so we'll wrap up the episode here. Uh, I'm going to put the conjuration. Like, we're not in a position to be creating items out of mana right now because we're hardly in a position to have any mana. 
But uh, we'll come back next episode. I'll produce a little bit more mana because uh, we're totally going to need more. I would like my mana band to have some too so I can run around at a nice speed. I missed you, mana band. Ooh. And uh, yeah, Donald 20 signing off. Hope you guys enjoy the episode. We'll come back next time. And uh, hopefully what I'm going to do between episodes is more of this and hopefully get a lot of diamonds. Um, and then we'll go from there. Cool? All right. Take it easy, guys.